everybody. We're at the Caribbean Developers Conference here in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. And I have my good buddy, Sean Valentine here. And we're gonna learn about some of the projects that his team has been working on to really help empower underprivileged youth. So, so Sean, how are you doing, huh? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me, Cecil. So why don't you introduce yourself to our viewers and some of the folks that may not know you? Totally. Hi, I'm Sean Valentine, Director of Strategic Initiatives at the Hidden Genius Project, where we train and mentor black male youth in technology creation, entrepreneurship, and leadership skills to transform their lives and communities. Now, one of the things that really drew me to your project was the fact that you're doing all of this stuff for underprivileged youth in California, and you're doing it for free. Yes. Like, how does that even work? How does that even, how do you even start with that? <laughs> Shaking hands and kissing babies, as we say, <laughs> at, around the team. Yeah. Um, well, there's a huge need, right, yeah. for diversity in this space. Um, it's, it's, it's not a secret. And, and supporting our youth um, through holistic uh, support, um, creating an ecosystem that, around them that uh, connects them to access and support um, consistently will help not only our students but any student um, yeah. in, in, in particular. Right, right. So, 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 give me like a quick, like, like inside view of if I'm a student, yeah. right, or I'm a person and I don't have like a lot of money, I don't have the mm -hmm. opportunity, or I don't have a computer at home. Yeah. Right, and I'm in Cali and I want to come and be a part of your program. What do I have to do? You go on to www.hiddengeniusproject.org yeah. um, and sign up uh, for, for our interview. Um, we have an open application all year round. Um, once, ex once accepted in the program, it's a 15-month commitment, seven weeks in the summer, um, bridged by a back-to-school portion, which is once a week yeah. um, and one Saturday a month and then one more, one more summer of seven weeks. And in that, you'll learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, and some of the back-end languages like Python, uh, Ruby on Rails, Swift. Um, we're tinkering around with Flutter right now as well. Sure, 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 sure. Um, so once a student has completed our 15-month our, our commitment, they would have created, uh, completed a capstone project, which links, um, it's a mobile or web-based application, which links some sort of social um, obstacle or, or, or issue and, and connects that with the uh, intersectionality between that passion and technology. I think I'd really love to talk about how this has really now affect, impacted the lives of yeah. these, these yeah. young children, these yeah. kids, right, that we're helping out. So I'm going through this thing, right? Mm -hmm. 15 weeks. Yeah. What, what are some of the things that these people are doing? Like, what are they creating? And what are some of the projects they're working on now uh, after the fact? And some of the, so they come back and, and, and really take their passion projects for that capstone project to the next level. Mm -hmm. We have students that are, have apps in the app store. Um, one of our students was able, to, was able to link a deal with Capital One. Really? Um, his project was called Cop Stop. And it raised awareness um, around, you know, the, the connotations around, you know, folks of color or and yeah. or any any obstacle where students were having issues with facing um, law enforcement mm -hmm. um, this this project didn't call out law enforcement as a bad guy but what it did was it was an opportunity for students and law enforcement to come together and educate others about the space yeah. um, and, and the interactions between them and so having um, supported these these type of projects and putting projects out there that would no, not normally um, be brought to light has been a, a value add not only to our organization or to our students and beneficiaries but to the overall community as well yeah I think one of the things that uh, one of the things that we don't really talk about a lot is how like giving people this type of information and education yeah. like it increases their expressiveness yes you know like you know a lot of people talk about like writers and artists and and art as an expression of like you know whatever's happening with my community or whatever like people do it through music all the yeah. time as, a, as a, another example but nobody ever really talks about like how me as somebody that you know i might be going through things in my life i might be living in a particular type of situation but now like through code through technology through education i have a new way to express myself right and and that must have like a tremendous amount of like mental impact on like a student right you talk about like confidence and you know um, ambition like all of these little things that just being able to be like hey i'm going to tell you how to do something and i'm going to help you do it and now like i just feel empowered to do so much more for sure everyone has um and an imagination, right? Yeah. And, and it's just the medium to get those ideas out. 
Mm -hmm. it, the pencil <laughs> took take take artists a long way. It's yeah. technology. It's a solution. It takes the idea, the concept, and brings it and brings it to life, right? Sure. And so coding is the same way. Mm -hmm. But again, if you if you're not um, if you don't have the access or the res to resources or the networks that can help you spur, spur those ideas on, then you're left out in a, in, in a field. I saw a student within our program who um, had a, had a, has a brother with a, with a learning disability yeah. and, and kind of like a, a, a mental, his, his mental wellness isn't, isn't as yeah. where we want it to be, right? And he has an issue with uh, um, expressing himself, mm -hmm. and so this young man saw uh, saw a, a gap, you know, with his brother's ability to communicate with with others, and and, and put together a clothing line that allowed him to, um, you know, like velcro strap. Yeah. And so when his little brother is in a certain mood, he can velcro strap like an emoji face, really? right, and express who he is and where sure. he is at that moment to everyone, mm -hmm. right. Again, who who would who thinks like that? But people in that space and just given the uh, uh, concepts around design thinking, right? And and just you know we, we talk about open source. That's that's open source code a, a, as we know it, right? Yeah. How 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 do we look at solutions? How do we get these students to look at within themselves for solutions and bring out um, true ideas that not only create um, a value add to themselves, but around the world. And it's been a great journey, and, and I'm really excited about about this young man, about these young men and the yeah. work that we, we've been able to do. Sure. So you, you talked a little bit just now about like looking within yourself. Mm -hmm. I think another important point that kind of ties into that is the fact that now, after I've gone through this program, right, I'm sure you have a lot of students that still come back yes. and contribute to sure. like existing students or new up and coming students. Yes. And I could just imagine what the impact is like for me being somebody that looks a certain way and I'm from a certain community, but to see somebody of a similar background doing amazing and creative things. Again, like I'm thinking about like my mental state, right, and what my imagination is 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 is, is kind of conjuring up now. I'm like, oh man, like I saw Sean and he's doing like some real cool stuff, like helping out our community, building real cool things with technology. Like I want to do something cool too, right? For sure. And it's amazing that you're right on time with that point. As we speak right now, our team is getting getting ready to take a flight um, to London. Yeah. Um, we're taking nine of our students to London, and they and from our alum group, they, those those students are trained as youth educators. Yeah. And they come back and do our external facing outreach. Yeah. So the amount of students we serve, I think we're reaching up to about five five or six thousand students served around the world and yep. in order for us to do and we're a team of ten mm -hmm. and in order to do that and build and build our capacity to do that we in turn take our alum and train them up as youth educators to then train other students around the world and so next week we'll be we're flying out our team is flying out from San Francisco today to Heathrow in London to do work in partnership with Chelsea FC um, Western um, FC and, and a few of our other corporate partners in order to bring about um, the excitement to the space to, for other stu uh, students around the world. It translates that student, that peer-to-peer -peer, um, training and mentorship, yeah. the engagement levels are through the roof when you right. have students that look like them, talk like them, listen to the same music of the sen same generation, and it makes it so much believable that you can attain to that. And, that. and even though that we work with particularly black male students within our organization, yeah. having those students go out as ambassadors to the space have brought together and brings together f folks from all backgrounds, sure. um, K through 12, in terms of students in, in, in school and adults as well. If you can see these young men who have been counted out by society, you know that's the context around them. Take on this 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 space and and become creators and teach. Then it'll inspire everyone to to do everyone's ability to do the same. Yeah, and another thing that I think you're doing, and I don't know if you realize you're doing this, but like you, your team is breaking so many stereotypes. Right, like that, I, I've always had the stereotype of what do you do as a software developer? Like I sit behind a desk and I go click, 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 type, 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 type. You know, I wear glasses and eat Cheetos, right? Like that's stereotypically what they think we do. Mm -hmm. But now you're telling me like you're taking kids from from Oakland yeah. and you're taking them around the world yeah. to teach other kids. For sure. You know what I mean? Like technology is taking us all around the world to teach and empower other children to do the same thing. And now they can do it in their own communities or in their own families. And you know, and, and it's kind of like a, a, a paid forward type model, I suppose. Yeah. Right? So now everybody's learning. And now you've creating like 
like an ecosystem or like just like a community of of people that just just care. Yeah. Right. You, people that just care and are inspired to do really cool and interesting things. It's interesting. You know, we, you think about one individual and creating support and networks around the one individual. Right. But if you do the same, if you use the same model for spaces or communities, you put ecosystems around the community. You create access around the community. We have partners. Microsoft is our partner. Was in our was our partner in London last year. Yeah. Um, and we did great work together. And yeah. introducing, well, I think one thing that we do great is our ability. Nothing that we've done to this date, we haven't done that we've done well. We haven't done in partnership. Right. And so creating those partnerships and extending those partnerships to communities across the world. Uh, again, we don't just do a one-time event. It's a long-lasting. Um, uh, um, disruptor to the to what what is norm and we know that is is not functional and it's not efficient now so having um, bringing our partnerships and and our our networks to where folks are um, inspiring those folks wherever they are has been a major part and is of our mission to not only change lives but communities as a whole sure I mean the partnerships are so important for so many reasons because again like you're doing this for these kids for free yeah right so you give them education education I think you also give them transportation you also feed some of these kids too right laptops as well laptops, laptops and all of well. that type of stuff yeah yeah so that's a lot of things and I mean like with they're not being like a, a constant revenue stream yeah like somebody has to help you provide those things and support you yeah right so like how if anybody is watching like how would I become like a supporter or a, a, a partner with you or contributor to you? totally so through volunteerism um, we're yeah. always at having events and or programs that um, can take a volunteer from whatever vertical they're in yeah. um, you could be in tech and be a lawyer we have tons of geniuses yeah. who have interest in law or marketing or 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 um, design, sure. um, legal, uh, and, and all this, and communications and all the such. So no one is excluded, right? Mm -hmm. It's your experience, it's your passion. So please get in where you fit in. You can go right yeah. on, get involved on our website, click the button and sign up as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a, as an org and you want to partner up for our events, um, we have a Brothers Code event that's annual. Um, we have our mm -hmm. Tech Slam event that um, has become annual in London and in other places around the, the nation and back in America but uh, also we'll do one in South Africa as well that it become an annual event and if you have any you know interest or or within your network where you know folks that will want to get involved please spread the word that that too is, is very helpful yeah. um, number three uh, in-kind support um, like Microsoft has tons of, of educational tools um, give sharing access to those type of tools so that we can help uh, inspire and engage folks um, to the space on um, that way is another way means of, of support right. and, and, and donation. Um, donations are always helpful uh, keeping the lights on you know a nonprofit uh, it's a it's a it's a tough space um, most often yeah. nonprofits go underfunded mm -hmm. as well and so helping us you know keep the lights on keeping great talent and keep paying you know great talent to do the work um, you want to trust us um, and trust you us with the education of, of, of these young folks and what they tend to do so paying the folks that uh, support their work it also is a definitely help and value add sure sure I mean maybe we could talk to some of the folks here at the Caribbean Developers Conference and maybe we can have some students come down next year right like that'll be totally great for sure I was just talking to Hector last night about that opportunity um, yep. we take geniuses around the country now and put mm -hmm. um, supportive of these type of events and invite students from the local communities and have our geniuses interact and engage those students so we hopeful that next year we can bring the geniuses down and bring some of the local community right. students from the community and engage them and inspire them in the same way we've been able to do around gotcha. the world gotcha so right now so it's 2019 right as we're recording this tell me what do you want to take in genius in like the next three or four years um, we it would be great if one of, when one of our geniuses strikes strikes gold and comes back <laughs> and sets up a great end, endowment that um, keeps us keeps the lights on for eternity. Yeah. Um, that that'd be amazing. Um, yeah. we ha and we have a few geniuses in the pipeline with ideas that that should catch on and be able to do that. Yeah. Um, putting within our five-year plan, we look to be in cities um, around uh, in in America in LA, uh, Detroit, yeah. Chicago, the DC Baltimore area, in Atlanta. Um, we've already we've already starting to hire out for our LA site now, okay. um, so that that'd be great. Um, and then again, having institutional um, relationships with 
a lot of our corporate partners would 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 be a, would be an amazing feat to have. Um, a lot of times, you know, these ideas of you know supporting folks come and go. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of what like wh yeah. where leadership is. But you know, if 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 we can get institutional and, and get folks to believe in this work um, and the, and and its value add to not only again to the individuals but to society as a whole, that would be a, a definitely of a dream come true. Dude, that that's awesome, man. I like I love everything y'all are doing, man. Like growth, education you know, partnership, community. Like it's all the things that we need to kind of just empower like that next generation to be the next set of leaders, to be the next set of entrepreneurs and to like take the society where it needs to go. So I, I, I love it, man. Thank you so much. And if, if you want to look at any of our highlights um, of our, our London trip next week or mm -hmm. in South Africa the week after or just, just want to keep up to date with us, please look out for us at Hidden Genius Pro mm -hmm. um, at any of the mo major social media sites. Cool, awesome. Well, hey, man, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for being on the Thank show, Thank you man. so much, Cecil. And thank you all for watching. Um, we're here again in the Caribbean Developers Conference, and I just spoke to my good friend, Sean Valentine. So make sure you go out and check out the Hidden Genius Product, um, Hidden Genius Project, and make sure you support us. And, you know, donate if you want to volunteer or anything like that, because it's a really good cause, and we're helping a lot of kids grow and learn about tons of great life skills.